Uzbekistan is not completely safe for tourists, especially regions near Afghanistan. That's exactly where we are now. We're going to meet a unique man. Tourists aren't recommended to go there. If you happen to be here, you must follow safety rules. We came to Mardan City. You must keep your doors locked here. Don't lock them. Don't stop even if police tries to stop you. But really stop on the crossroads. It's a picturesque city quite close to Afghanistan. Almost every Mardan citizen has a gun. It's part of the Pashtuns' culture. Pashtuns inhabit Afghanistan and part of Pakistan. It's normal here. That's why tourists must be careful. It's a prank, my friends. It's our guest. He's a celebrity. That's how he meets us. Assalamu alaikum. Hello. This region is really unsafe, so I told you the truth. But the giant stopping us is a fake and planned situation. It was unusual shoot for the world inside out. We broke our rules to show you the truth. This man calls himself the heaviest. He's Pakistani celebrity, and he's got many requirements. We sent negotiators to agree on a shirt. Other travelers helped us. We had to write a script to be approved by the star. They created special operation to uncover the truth. We had two cameramen and national world record representative. It's a special edition called Pakistani National Celebrities. I think our president has less security. Who are they? Why do people love them? We came to the biggest man of Pakistan. Salam alaikum. It's nice to meet you. What's his name? How local celebrities live? Wow, it's a zoo. Look at it. What a great house. What toys do they buy? I have a big weapon collection. And how much does a cup cost? $10,000. How they distinguish themselves? Very long jib. Very, 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 very long jib. Assalamu alaikum. Wow, what a giant. He's holding me with one hand. Why do they hire extra security? It's everything all right? It's clear. No bones, so we'll see celebrity coming. The World Inside Out with Metro Camera. Arbab Hizr Hayat, also known as Khan Baba. He calls himself the heaviest and the strongest man in Pakistan. He's treated like God in his native town. Each Mardan citizen knows him. Khan Baba is a superstar and armed security protects him around the clock. Let's go inside. We came to the biggest Pakistani man. Is that your house? Yes, it's my house. Guys, do you see all the security? Ken Baba is the biggest man in Pakistan. Look what's going on. He met us with performance. We prearranged to meet and this crowd came too. But he's got many guards. Should I be afraid of your guards? Or won't they shoot? No, come here, don't be afraid. We are in the celebrity's house. Every Pakistani knows him. He's super famous. Khan Baba, not only famous, but as he says, is one of the richest in the region. Baba's house is a palace by local standards. His fans took this opportunity and they kind idol let them in. 
about 10 men of special forces work here. If you look at chevrons, you'll see it's a policeman. It's an official state security with rifles. People take this chance. He's a superstar. I'd like to ask your fans before your security kick them out. Guys, who is Khan Baba for you? He's our hero. He's our lion. Why do you love him? He's the biggest and the strongest. Thanks a lot. Khan Baba, our audience would like to ask how much do you weigh? I weigh 430 kilos. How old are you? I'm 28. 28? Let's compare. I'm 37. According to Ken Baba, he's five times heavier than me and a head higher. No wonder he's called Pakistani Hulk. Are you the heaviest man in Pakistan or in the world? I am the second in the world and the first in Pakistan. Usually heavyweights like me can't move without help. But I can. It's true. Juan Pedro Franco, Guinness record holder from Mexico, weighed 585 kilos and wasn't able to get off the coach. We have a unique opportunity to see how Pakistani heavyweight leaves, his secrets and phenomena. It's hard to believe that he weighs 430. He walks too well. I'll hold off my doubts. I'm not alone in my doubts. A lot of people say he lies about his weight. Con security doesn't let to check if it's truth. I pretend to believe his every word. Our task is to find out the truth. Can be back, excuse me, but beside your huge weight, my audience would like to know your height. 190 centimeters. 190. What's your shoe size? My foot's length is 15 inches. 15 inches is about 38 centimeters. I guess it's specially ordered. You order custom-made clothes and shoes. Yes, they are custom-made. You are the biggest and the heaviest man in Pakistan. Are you the strongest one? Yes, I eat a lot. My energy turns to great power. Can you prove your strength? Come here. Wow, what a giant. He's holding me with one hand. He lifts me up with one hand. It's impressive, thank you. You're strong and powerful. What can I say? This man is really strong. I cannot argue. What can you show except lifting? Maybe some impressive stunts, crashing or bending something. I don't know. I can bend a frying pan. I'd like to see that, sure. Let's see, come inside. Let's go. Who goes first? I don't know how to act. It's a border region, and uh, it's better not to joke here. We were asked to wait in the guest room while they're preparing for the visit. Ken Baba, I'd like to ask why you have 18 bodyguards, as I was told. What's that for? Are you rich? Are you a businessman or is there really a life threat? When I leave my house, many people always gather around me. It's not safe. That's why I need guards. Have you got threats or any information about attempts? Yes, a couple of times. The last one happened recently. I'm connected with government. And they got such information and tightened security. Oh. What's that for? Every Pashtun must be able to treat weapons. I have a big collection. I see that you have many guns, Khan Baba. A great collection. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry, I won't touch it. I see. All right. Sorry, I touched it. May I speak? We forbid to touch the gun because it's unsafe. Okay, I'm sorry. 
Well, you're collecting, I'm just pointing, guns. So, how many of them you have at home? More than a hundred. Not every police department has so many guns. But it's normal for this part of Pakistan. Do you ever shoot for fun? Yes, I like it, but it's forbidden to shoot in the air, not to scare people. I can show you how I shoot. Okay. Weapons are the measure of man's pride and coolness in Pakistan. In Pashtun region, it's a part of their culture. It's Pakistani entertainment for rich people. Let's see. It's not shooting sport. What the point of shooting in the yard without a target? I don't understand. Don't you scare your neighbors? Those are my lands. I have no neighbors. Do you want to shoot? No, thanks. Don't be afraid. I have to. Journalists can't take weapons. It's wrong. We have a rule. A journalist mustn't shoot. As you wish. I'm looking forward to see Khan Baba bend in a frying pan. They finally invite us inside. I'll get inside and wait for you there. You'll come in a while. We'll go later. In two minutes. In two minutes. It's complicated to simply enter the room. They check everything. Serious security. I feel like visited a president. I can't describe these incredible security measures. May I? I'm coming in. Thank you. Shukriya. What a big house. Wow, it's impressive. Where can I sit? Here. What's that? It's a microphone. I'll get it. Here you are. May I? You may. I confess, this atmosphere makes me nervous. It makes me to be careful. You promised to show how you bend a frying pan. Can we see? Brian a frying pan. It's a blanket and a pan. May I hold it? Yep, it's a frying pan. I can do nothing to it. It's just a frying pan. If you have doubts, I can stand at it. Can you see? I have to take off my watch. Ah, the watch. May I have a look? An original Rolex? Original. Are these diamonds? How much does it cost? 440,000 rupees. Sasha, show it closer. Look, it's golden watch Rolex. Look attentively. It's covered with diamonds. It's fake. Thank you. Five bucks. I'm not an expert, but I can see that this gold has fake color and glass instead of diamonds. It seems that some Pakistani celebrities wear fakes to admire fans. My doubts are getting just bigger. They took away the frying pan and brought it back. What's going on? They brought it back. Guys, do you see it? Sorry, I have a joke. Imagine the situation. You fight with your wife, she said something wrong, and you bend her pen and say, don't make me mad. Nowadays, people like to study everything in details, you know. Some people may ask, why did he need two tries? to ban a frying pan, why they took it away, maybe he caught it or saw it. May I have a look? 
the first towel was slippery, and I asked it to change it. A slippery towel, uh-huh, I see. I think I know this trick. If you take a closer look, they brought slightly bent pen. It had to bend in line in the middle and had less strength. I jumped on it and flattered it. Next time they brought the same bent pen, it makes the task easier. But I must admit that he's strong and smart. He can find explanation. I can't flatten it. I really can. Ken Baba, only you can do this. I injured my hand. He injured his hand. Ken Baba shows his awards to ensure me in his strength. He says he's a sportsman too. Wow. Wow, I'm a wrestler. The heaviest world wrestler champion. I got this belt for my weight. It was created for my size. Police award, but the building award? These awards don't approve awards considered sport achievements, but we'll get a chance to see Khan Baba's strength. Tell me about your family. I have mom, dad, an elder brother and a younger sister. What's your parents' occupation? They own land, pharmaceutical and tobacco factories. Are you a part of family business or do you have your own? My business is my name. It's a brand. It helps me to earn money on commercial shows. Can I hire Khan Baba for a birthday party? For betting or corporate party and pay him big money like a star? I perform on events. I don't take money from locals. If I'm invited abroad, I ask for payment. I visited Japan, Dubai, and many other places. And how much does your performance cost? From four to seven thousand dollars a day. It's a fee of a great celebrity. Let's go. I'll show you my room. We'll see now the rest of the house. It's all about luxury. Pompous chandelier, huge carpets, expensive antiquaries. Is it your bedroom? Yes. This bed can sustain 430 kilos. It is custom made or a regular bed? It's custom made. It has double legs. You mean, do you see, it's double. So you need a double-sized bed. Are you married? Not yet. You'll have to make two times bigger bed after the wedding. What girl do you dream of? I want an unusual girl, a wrestler, like me. I wanted her to weigh 100 kilos, but now I think that's 80 is okay. Have you had a relationship? I know that it's hard for such a popular person to meet somebody. I have lots of fans. But lack of time for communication. I have a girlfriend, and I am planning to marry her. How did you meet? Your parents introduced you, or you met by chance? I met her at school. I wish you love and good luck. Thank you. Let's go. Okay. Whose bedroom is this? It's my second bedroom. And how you decide where to sleep? There, here. It depends. I often sleep in the first bedroom. Excuse me, is this a woman bag's collection? These are my girlfriend's bags. It means that she comes here. Sorry for my indiscretion. Please don't kill me. Yes, she comes here. They are my gifts. I buy her a new bag every month. I beg your pardon, but how much does your girlfriend weigh? You can kill me for that question, I get it. Relax, everybody asks that. It's not a secret, she weighs 75 kilos. After room tour, Ken Baba takes us downtown. 
Security checks car's safety before departure. It's an ordinary car, and this 400 kilos giant surprisingly easily gets in it. Can Baba's armed guards follow him on a jeep? Your Toyota is quite big. You drive it. My knees are trapped, but I fit here. Is it standard equipped car or you changed motor mount? I bought this car in Japan. I changed the seat for bigger ones and amplified the mount. Do you often drive? No. Where are you going? To the beauty studio. Cool. We'll spend this day with a man claiming that he weighs 430 kilos. My doubts are getting bigger. We aimed this shoot to find the truth. So, we'll see. There are people that weigh above three or four hundred kilos. Almost all of them even can't move without assistance. So tell me please, what's your secret? Why do you move on your own? Heavyweight's bodies consist of fat, not muscles. My body is 40% of muscles and only 30% of fat. Doctors examined me. How many hours per week do you exercise? Four hours per day. What do you do? I run, do push and biceps exercise. Do you remember when you started gaining weight? Did you try to stop this process? I never wanted to lose, but gain more weight. I dreamed of popularity. You're popular. What's your next wish now? I want to set a new record. What record? There is a man that lifts 550 kilos. I want to break this record. And what's your personal record? I lift 500 kilos in my gym. I didn't reveal my achievement to the world. You are planning to apply and break the record? Yes, I am. Khan Baba dreamed of being big and strong. But that's not enough for him. He wants to be the most handsome too. Creme scrub, please. A real spa gets started. What's your name? Usim. Khan Baba often comes? Yes, he comes often. How often do you come here? When I'm in Mardan, I come here two times a month. The celebrity is ready to take photos with fans. Here they are. It's going to be millions of selfies. Hello, may I ask you a question? You took a selfie with Ken Baba. What do you think of him? He's good and kind man. He's big and strong. It's a typical walk to a barbershop. Ten guards in a jeep and old Toyota. The guard always helps to get in and opens the door. Our hero says it has amplified mount. If you put 400 kilos in usual car, it will break. After this spa, we're going to take part in Khan Baba's favorite activity. Khan Baba, I see you escort and realize that everyone in this town knows you. It's Khan Baba. I ride like this in daytime. And at night, security rides with me. It's really dangerous, and guys are on high alert. Their fingers ready to pull the trigger. They look around anytime something can happen to you. I feel safe in Mardan, but I got a threat, so my security is always with me. We're arrived. Guards are checking the location. Khan Baba is waiting in his car. Our hero came for lunch. It's interesting. What does the champion eat? It's an ordinary cafe. It looks like paradox. Old car and one, two, three, five, six guards. Guards are checking the restaurant. Let's see. It's exclusive. Superstars can't have lunch with common people. They must have lunch in VIP rooms. But at first, security is searching the room. Pakistani-styled room. They checked. Is it okay? Nothing? No explosives? No problem? No, it's clear. There's no bomb. We'll see the star coming. People are waiting. 
the guard is protecting the car, we'll be here. We have today a unique chance to see this different world from inside. That's exactly what we are used to do. Sorry to interrupt you, but in our country, the president has less security than Khan Baba. Khan Baba is very famous. That's why he has such security. Well, guys, people are getting ready to take pictures. The guy prepared two phones to take a photo of the star. Are you the restaurant owner? Yes. Do they always take these measures? Yes. Khan Baba is getting out. I'm surprised how easy you move. You seem to be light. The more I stay with him, the less I believe that he weighs over 400 kilos. We're going to lunch. Let's eat. I don't like him here. It's hot. I want outside. Outside? He doesn't like it here? Okay. He doesn't like it. He says, let's go outside. It's hot here. Rest on stop is set in summer terrace. People are climbing the fence. I feel uncomfortable. So many fans want to take a picture. It's fantastic. It's too. People's love and popularity. There's no other way to put it. Can Baba is taking a seat, and I remembered something from his house. As nobody gets what I'm saying, I'd like to notice one important thing. Look at the details. Look at his shape. It's unnatural. It's maybe a costume. I have no right to speak about it or translate it, because we'll have problems. It's a dangerous region, but there are many, many theories you can guess. We'll try to check if Anbaba's body is real and if he really weighs 400 kilos. There is no formal proof of that. Popularity based on deception is disgrace. We are journalists and will do our best to find out the truth despite this man's security, who don't give a chance to check it. For now, we can see what this giant is. I am losing my passions. I want to see how they cook hamburgers for Khan Baba. It's a giant pan with wood below it. They threw meat in it. These are, look, regular cutlets of normal size. Baba's cutlets are 10 times bigger. It's a giant cutlet made of four kilos of meat. They fry it in a barrel. Do you cook this XXXXL size cutlet only for Ken Baba? Yes, especially for him. Right, four kilos of meat. Kebab for Ken Baba. It's an analog of hamburger, you know. Look, let's see how they cook bread. The process. It's a pan. There is a barrel and gas. Look, two flat breads and four kilos of meat or five kilos of something meat between lunch or dinner because it's getting dark now. I wonder how much can Baba can eat. I can't eat more than half a kilo. The owner personality brings the dish to the guest of honor. Will can Baba eat all of this? He'll eat this and four kilos more. Four more, let's see. Compare it to my order, guys. I ordered standard kebab and flatbread. You can see a little difference. Enjoy your meal, Khan Baba. Will you eat all of this? Sure. I wonder how much does Khan Baba spend? How much do you spend for food? How much is it? Up to 500,000 rupees. Two and a half thousand dollars. Why so much? I buy food, proteins, and bodybuilding supplement. How much do you pay for security? Three hundred thousand rupees. Two thousand dollars. 
How much do you spend for housekeep and stuff and monthly cost? I spend $1,500 for stuff. So you spend five and a half thousand in total. In total, it's over 10,000. Pakistani celebrity claims that he spends four and a half thousand more for his cars, beauty salons, custom made shows, clothes, and gifts. In total, he spends over 10,000 monthly. It's expensive to be Khan Baba. Have you ordered more bread? Really? Now it's enough. I ate small kebab and I'm full. How much calories per day do you need to feel strong? 10,000 calories. Ordinary people need 2,000. Let's take stock of it. What do you usually eat? I say meat, vegetables and bread. What else? I can eat 36 eggs, 4 chickens, up to 4 kilos of meat, 4 or 5 liters of drinks, and half a kilo of rice. You ate two kilos of meat and a few flatbreads, and a harmful. May I try yours? Maybe it's special. Just like mine. I ate 300 grams, and you ate two kilos. You eat a lot. It's a fact. Did you finish? I'm full. Well, let's see. It's kebab's boundary. I ate this. This is a half. Two kilos. It looks like Khan Baba's words should be divided by two. He ate only a half. He bent a pan but used two tries. He walks easily, unlike heavyweights do. I would say too easily. His awards are known of sports achievements. I doubt about Khan Baba's weight too. I'm a journalist and I'd like to know the truth. We figured out how to check it. We offered Khan Baba something he likes to set the official record, but we didn't mention the most important requirement. So you're brave and ready for any surprise. Would 12 o'clock be convenient? 12 is okay, thank you. Compare hands, mine and yours. Wow! He's really strong. Your shake is painful. You're very strong, tough and powerful. Sorry. Canberra left surrounded by fans and guards. We came up with a plan of exposing him. Ken Baba should have a good rest before our surprise. Guys, it's time to draw conclusions, because I'm not sure if he agrees to meet again. This man really eats a lot. But it wasn't by chance that I found a very touch his arm to check his strength. I'm almost sure that it's not his natural arm. It's something like like plaster, like foam, or some other material that has some plasticity and it's firm. It's a structure that he hides under the clothes. It's only my guess. I have no proofs. It's up to you to believe Khan Baba or not. I drew my personal conclusions. We'll see what National Records Register expert would say. We invited him to Pakistan. One more myth can be broken, maybe. Our show always finds the truth. We prepared an experiment to expose the heaviest and strongest Pakistani or assure us that 400 kilos weight may can walk so lightly. Meanwhile, we'll meet another celebrity that lives on the outskirts of Lahore. This man became famous in a deathly dangerous way. There are many men in Pakistan with special mentality who tend to special luxury things. Expensive cars, big house, nice clothes, nice watch. Men compete in owning them all over the world. In Pakistan, they have one more thing that makes you cool for others. It's a tiger or a lion. 
a lot of Pakistanis keep tigers or lions at home. From time to time, you can see big cities reports about rich men who were arrested for walking with tigers or lions. It's a province. We're driving through agricultural district, heading to a millionaire's house. His hobby and his business is an exotic animal trade. We are here. Assalamu alaikum. It's a green blade. Our hero is meeting us with a tiger cop. It's Amar Chergi, 28 years old Pakistani millionaire who breeds lions and tigers. He's a bodybuilder and a celebrity. Umar is famous for his passion for wild animals and unusual for Pakistan millionaire lifestyle. People simply call him handsome for his beauty. Umar with his spats often posed for journalists and we came in the end of the shot. It's Umar's new pet, Tiger King. Your biceps impress. Thank you. Umar is getting ready for our interview and we're talking to our Pakistani colleagues. Assalamu alaikum. What do you film, please? Uh, we shot some for 40 Second Channel, Regional Lahore TV. We produce editions about predators' owners. I read that somewhere in Karachi, police arrested a man who walked along the street with a big lion. He wanted to show his pet. It's a real incident. It's considered that those who keep lions or tigers are brave. Anyone can keep a cat or a dog, but only brave can keep a tiger or a lion. That's why people boast about having tigers or lions. Fashion for wild pets appeared a few years ago in Lahore and spread to other regions. Tigers and lions symbolize status and power in Pakistan. A pet lion is a vanity object of Pakistani elite. Rich people share photos out walks with predators. No wonder that Umar's Cherokee service is popular not only in Lahore, but all over the country. Assalamu alaikum, nice to meet you. What is his name? It's King. King. Wow. Cool. How old is he? Two months. It's a kitten. A kitten. What breed is he? It's a Bengal tiger. Bengal. It's a rare breed. Was he bred in captivity or caught in wild nature? He was bred here. Oh, man. I got scared. So you breed lions? Yes. Oh, his family lives here. Nice. You know, ouch. It hurts a little. He bites and wants to daddy. He thinks you are his dad. I'm kind of his dad. I let him run. A Bengal tiger, guys. It's fantastic. I guess two months old, they're safe. In what age they become dangerous? I guess at the age of one year. Do they know, come on, stay down, stop, run? A little. I train animals, and when I call a tiger, he recognizes me and comes. It seems you enjoy your life. You have gorgeous yard with palms, tigers. We only live once, try everything. What business can provide this luxury life? I have pharmaceutical company, resorts, and shops in Canada. I heard that you also sell animals and breed them for sale. Is that true? When our lions and tigers produce many offspring, we sell them. May I see the rest? Sure. Let's go, baby king. Can you imagine such cat at home? Wow. It's a zoo. Who's that? King's father. Wow. Look at... It's a dad and his son. Nice. Do you let him go to daddy? No, it's dangerous for the kid. It's white. Wow. She's King's mom. Is it okay that 
she's white and he's just Bengal? Yes. I noticed that mom and dad bark at each other. Do wife and husband fight? Sometimes they do. They can fight just like human couples. How much does a little cup cost? About $10,000. It's expensive. You buy it, play for one year, and then you have to keep him in a cage. That's exactly what happens. Do you have many clients willing to buy tigers? Not many, in fact. People are interested, you know. Some buy tigers, but sometimes they bring them back because they can't cope with them. Do you sell adults? Rarely. The kid needs rest. He got nervous near adults. Simba? Wow. Does he know you? A little Simba rode in my car, slept in my bed, and followed me everywhere. How old is he? He's eight. How they treat people when they grow up? Do they remember and obey? Is any physical contact possible without a cage? They are less aggressive than wild tigers, except when they have offspring. My parents don't allow me to get in a cage. These animals are strong and can do anything. Wait, your parents don't allow? Yes, it's our culture. We must respect and obey our parents. Can you imagine, my friends? He's 28, he owns a successful business. He's a sportsman, but his parents don't allow him to get in a cage, and he obeys. That's Muslim culture. That's interesting, and I respect it. It's traditional. We're crossing the yard. Wow. It's... Oh, he peed on my face. Tigers can do this to strangers, especially male. Can I wash my face? There's a tank with water. Guys, it's the first time in my career. He turned his back and peed in my face. It's in my mouth. Is it a sign? We believe that if a bird poops on you, you'll get some money. What if a tiger pees on you? It means more money. Let's go. You go first. I don't want him to do that again. He peed in my face. Simba, Simba. Simba, Adja. What does Adja mean? Come here. Simba. He loves his owner, but he pees on strangers. Beware, back off. Well, we managed to escape. Did you see? That's it. How many employees do you have? Five. What salary do they get? A good one. I pay them more than average salary. Tigers live in three areas and lions live here. How much does it cost? 10,000. His kid is 5,000. What conditions are necessary to buy a lion? Maybe some documents. Is it legal? You must build an aviary that meets the requirements to get a license with appropriate fence and sufficient space. What are you holding? Chicken meat. Wow. She attacks to save her food. It's she. She reacts. Do you see her reflexes? If there wasn't the mesh, where wouldn't be me? She's very aggressive. She thinks you want to take her food. She protects her prey. Is the male aggressive too? Now he's calm, no worries. He knows I can't take it through the mesh. Here is a husband and three wives. They follow Muslim traditions, yes. Muslims can have up to four wives if they're able equally maintain them all. This lion has three wives. Will you find him a fourth wife? I'll definitely follow all Islamic traditions. May I feed them? Awesome. Take it, girl.
He's so powerful. I'll choose a smaller piece. Take the leg. Wow, look at that. Don't fight, guys. You'll have enough of food. I'm afraid to feed him, because he can't hit my hand with his clothes. I realized that he can bite my hand. I threw a whole chicken. And more. Even bred in captivity, they are still wild animals. Up to 50 people per year die mauled by lions or tigers. That's why I listen to my parents. What are your plans? Why do you do this? Bengal tigers are on the brink of extinction, but they live and give birth here. We breed them to save. You saw four generations of tigers here. Grand-grandparents and grandchildren. That's why I breed wild animals. It's amazing. Wild predators that extinct from their natural habitat live with a man like Umar. He keeps animals not only here. And he invited me to see one more place where he breeds animals. Let's go with the cat. Kings feels comfortable in your car. He rides with me most of the time. He climbed on my shoulders. I've never had such a trip. It's special. He fell. Doesn't he bother you while driving? Sometimes he does, when he wants to sit on front seat. How do people react when they see a tiger in your car? They're happy to see this miracle. Are you getting sad when your pet grows up and you can't play and ride with them? It's sad. But I wait for another tiger cub. A little king fell asleep in my arms. It's absolutely charming. So cute, so touching. I'd say I understand people's desire to own this miracle. It's violence against nature, on the other hand. These animals must live in savanna, woods or jungle. Wild animals belong there. He even rose for these words. But wild pets are popular in Pakistan and people are not even afraid of the price for this pleasure. Keeping a lion, for example, costs $10,000 a year without taking into account the cost of the cage and staff salaries. Our hero has one more aviary and more lions. Wow, a couple. Lion, lioness. Is there a baby? No, feed the kid. Hi, what's your name, please? Farian. Are you a caretaker? Yes. Stuff will feed the kid, and we say him goodbye. Don't fight. And we'll meet new lions. Is it a lioness? Is it a lion, Jerry? How old is he? He's nine months old. May I touch? You may. He's nine months old. He's a kid, but he's bigger than Shepherd. He's huge. Does he live here? He lives in a cage, but we let him walk sometimes. You walk with him? We're just going to. Guys, if you're a dog lover, you walk with your dog in the mornings and evenings. In Pakistan, rich people walk with lions and tigers. That's how it looks like. Up. Okay, and we're going for a walk with the lion. Don't you scare people? Of course we do. May I try? Yes. Hold it. A chain. I've never done it before. Jerry, let's go. Come, Jerry, come. He doesn't want. He may want to sleep. Okay, I see. He won't go. Jerry. Is he sleeping? Did you see? He's calm, but still can show teeth. I'll keep out. If Jerry wants to sleep, we can go for a ride with King. Let's see how the rich Pakistanis have rest. But first we should take Jerry back. He doesn't want to go. He's acting like a bad cat. Playing and fooling around. 
but one hit of his bow can break human backbone. Super strong animals, but they get used to see people. Look, it's a sleepy cat. You need help? It's heavy. I can't. Let's do it together. Kitten is up. Good, let's go. Where is your car? There. I'm dropping my Joe. I didn't expect it in Pakistan. It's a jeep, but a very long one. Very, 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 very long jeep. Assalamu alaikum. It's fantastic. Why were you driving a Toyota? I don't drive limousines on bad roads. So you mean cheap cars is for the village and a limousine is just for the city? Please, get in. Wow, this luxury is incredible. Beautiful. May I treat you? Sure, gladly. I see, traditional dish, samosa. Wow, neither you nor I expected to see such Pakistan. Trust me. Great. Let's go for a ride. Driver, let's go. That's how rich Pakistani rides. Unbelievable adventure for me, and usual thing for Umar. He arranges night trips to Lahore just for friends, for no particular reason. This limousine stands out from the Lahore landscape. And this image doesn't meet our stereotypes about Pakistan that we imagine poor with horrifying Asian landscapes. But this is one of the many unknown facets of real Pakistan. Guys, I'm shocked. I thought only Arabic sheikhs in Dubai or Abu Dhabi live like this. How many cars do you have? Five. I have Land Cruiser, and I've seen your Toyota and a limousine, and the rest? BMW X7 and hybrid Mercedes. Millionaire set? Yes. And also electric car Audi. Some people may think, I wish I lived like this tiger. You know, your lifestyle, the one I'm in now, it's more like a, a movie. It seems unreal. It seems like a movie. Do you like it? In my opinion, I don't fit into that interior a bit. I'm a dirty sneaker, sterile pants. If you warned me that I would ride a limousine with a tiger and such luxury, I would wear a tuxedo. This is the beauty of Pakistan, guys. You never know what awaits you here. The question arises, when you're in such a place, there is a stereotype that a rich man in a limousine has a beautiful woman beside him, or even beautiful women. And you are still single, why? My girlfriend died in a car accident four years ago. Now I have tigers instead of girlfriends. I'm sorry, accept my condolences. Forgive me. And you've never met a girl you would love? No, I don't want to. We had wonderful relationships. After her death, I started doing this. Her death completely changed my life. I got changed completely. I'm trying to think more about business, sports, tigers, lions, and so on. Excuse me, maybe it's better not to talk about this. If it hurts, I won't ask. Better not. I try not to mention it. You've got successful business, six luxury cars, ten tigers and lions, rich life. You seem to have everything. What does a man like you dream of? My main goal is to save the population of tigers and lions. I'm even willing to give cubs to farmers so others can raise them and produce offspring. Thank you so much for this incredible day, for showing me a completely different Pakistan, which I couldn't imagine even a dream. And thanks to our main character. I'm sorry I'll wake you up it's because I'm saying goodbye to you. Thanks, King. Oh, wow. And we're back in Pakistan. I'm going out. And here's Pakistani fuss. Unbelievable. After a busy day with Pakistani stars, I can say 
that noisy streets are closer to me than the villas of rich people. I met famous people in my expeditions, but I've never seen so many guards, weapons, and predators. Each country has its own attributes of man's pride. In Pakistan, they are directly linked to force and ability to protect themselves. The life of Khan Baba and Umar demonstrate the specifics of this region. Strange plays a primary role for a man here. We saw local idols, which are respected and loved by Pakistanis. We'll see later how Pakistanis bring up their strength. In the next episode, Secrets of Power of Pakistani Man, we're going to meet superheroes. These people are called gladiators. They are said to be demigods. They are the best in Kushti, which means killing. Kushti fights lasted till the enemy died. We'll learn about ancient techniques of training wrestlers. Strength cocktail recipes. I will find the champion of Pakistan. Just don't give up! I will go back to a man who calls himself the strongest Pakistani. To find out if he really weighed more than 400 kilos, and can be called the strongest. If he is scared of being exposed, then they may want to take the material from us. Guys, let's change the cars with footage. Why is Ken Baba trying to scare us? They set up a pickup and security. We are blocked off. Even a jeep, we can go away. Or will he agree to take our test and prove that he's not a deceiver? Don't you want to try? And what surprise will happen during our meeting? The World Inside Out with Metro Camera.